Hey guys, Sen here. Today we're coming back to the big brain strategies with the super chat. And no, not the graveyard spam nonsense, the real OG wizard bombs that we all know and love, because this first one is absolutely incredible and I'm probably going to name the video after it. So this is a CH9 level 5 barbarian camp and you can see they haven't moved in their last rock artillery. This ruins over here inside the base. So we're going to be able to snipe that after we use some barbarians to clear some trash buildings with three rocket balloons, take out that entire section. That's a pretty pricey investment, but grabbing all that value is going to be worth it. We're dropping rages up the left side of the base that we're going to push in with archers and we're going to go up the right side of the base once we clear some of those trash buildings with some more barbarians. We actually run out of barbarians so we even use a camp of archers, but we want to work up the right side with rocket balloons because you can see this rock artillery here is super exposed and so we can snipe that over the river with troops that can go across it and rocket balloons can of course fly over and once we can start deploying troops over there we'll drop a ram to tank the rocket shell and then three rocket balloons on top of the spirit thrower they'll take that out and then go after the rock artillery and even grab a little bit of death damage on the mega hin tesla and at this point we will just fast forward from here because this is not the replay that i was talking about we have to set up the second hit and we have two rages to drop uh, we're not even going to be able to use the second rage at all on this hit because we weren't able to bring too many archers we spent a lot on the rocket balloons but we got a lot out of them and we still have one more left to take out the spear thrower and even grab some more damage on this backside mega hin tesla and at this point we drop in a ram open up the wall towards mega hin tesla a barbarian to kill it four zaps to finish off the middle rapid rocket and spear thrower and actually i do have a wizard a graveyard and rams in this army composition but i hope you will be able to forgive me for how awesome this is going to be after that mega hin tesla finishes off those last few barbarians it is time there is nothing covering the top side anymore so i can send in one wizard he's gonna go and take out the first air defense unfortunately he thinks this uh air defense is closer than his district hall so he goes after it and gets in range of the mega hin tesla panic rocket balloons on the right side but remember all that death damage that the rocket balloons got on that tesla on the first attack and so he's actually able to chain it down before the mega hin tesla finishes him off so he now has four confirmed kills and he's going after a third <laughs> air defense that 10 camp space wizard is about to clean house i even give him enough time to finish off that high HP district hall because uh, that means I'll be able to deploy troops or rocket balloons directly targeting this backside rapid rocket. And once that district hall goes down, I drop down my graveyard spell in the middle of these two air bombs to help distract them. One minions to distract the bottom air bombs and two rocket balloons to sneak in, then two rocket balloons on either spear thrower to take out the uh, air defense afterwards. And as the troops start dying, I start getting some larries and they'll distract the air bombs for me so I can sneak in with the rest of my rocket balloons. We are swarming the backside air bombs. This is the one thing that I really like about the graveyard spell. Before, if you had too many zaps, you wouldn't be able to make good use of them or your extra spell slots on the backside of a rocket loon attack. But now, if you have too many spells, you can just use them as graveyards and distract some of those key splash defenses. And look at how many rocket balloons we have left. That wizard absolutely decimated that backside of the base. So this next hit is going to be a more traditional wizard bomb and we are going to start off with our rage spell so we don't have to worry about that later and then two rams side by side to go ahead tank the spirit thrower so we can sneak in two rocket balloons as well to take out those outside defenses. That way we can use our archers in behind and they won't have to worry about getting shot at. They can just clear those defenses without a care in the world and then afterwards we are going to have to try to push into this district hall because look at how much chain value is around this thing there's two air defenses as well so we just have to push into it as well as clear these two giants because they'll distract our wizards as they're working through the district hall we don't have that much time with the rams tanking especially after the ram nerf so we have to make the most out of it and we're going to do that by killing those two giants and once they're finally dead it is time to put this thing at times one half speed as usual we drop down our rams to see where they're going and then afterwards we're going to drop down our wizards once they start going ahead and taking all the defenses unfortunately 
I don't know how this rocket shell ends up splashing on my wizards. That was so unfortunate, but they have level five wizards, so those level five rocket artilleries are not gonna be able to one-shot them. And so they survive, take no more damage, and are able to finish off this district hall and everything around it. That was a juicy wizard bomb. Oh boy, have I missed doing these. And we have one more pack of archers, and we're gonna be able to finish off this backs or this other rocket artillery over here. And I also have another cool trick plan for the finishing blow. First of all, I noticed that there are a bunch of air defenses clumped in this section over here. If I drop down a rage and bring some more archers, I'll be able to finish off the, all of that. And I also want to take out this multi-cannon over here and you are going to see the purpose for that. We'll fast forward through the archers as always. And then once we start pushing our way in, we notice that there's actually a Tesla farm here as well. So that's even more bonus value for our archers. We won't get as many air defenses, but those Mega Hand Teslas are equally as deadly. And once that multi-cannon goes down, we start on a P.E.K.K.A. on the left side, ram to help tank. And then it's gonna work through that multi-cannon and then sneak on in to this rocket artillery dead zone. There are no ground targeting defenses firing over here except the multi-mortar. So that P.E.K.K.A. is going to take out that rocket artillery, take out those giants, and go forward and grab two air defenses as well as an air bombs. <laughs> so that was a sick trick and we will also have a couple more packs of archers to finish off this air bombs as well as this other air defense that Pekka is still moving. We have one more ram for it so we can break her into this air bombs and this uh, air defense on the back side. And after that's down, there are no more air defenses left on the base, and we have four rocket blues to take out those last three spear throwers. It can't be minions to start working and clearing some of those trash buildings, but this base is already done. There's nothing shooting at my P.E.K.K.A. as they finish, as she finishes off those giants, and she's going to clap that last air defense, and we have our rocket blooms that can directly target these two spear throwers, and we have two more for the last one over here. We'll fast forward from here. That was a sick breakdown of the base using wizards to break the packet inside the backside rocket artillery compartment and then sweeping the backside that has no ground defenses with that pekka and just closing with a few rocket blends up next we're going in against itsu's level 5 barbarian camp and we're going to start off with a raid spell like so a ram to go ahead open up the wall tank the spirit thrower and give me some barfs to clear some trash a rocket balloon to fly over one shot the spirit thrower and then take out that bomb tower now I drop the Rage deeper and don't clip the Spear Thrower, but if you're up against a higher level Spear Thrower, you have to make sure that Rage is covering the Spear Thrower so your balloons are still able to one-shot it. But we're able to drop in the Rage deeper inside the base, and that's going to help me for the next phase of the attack, where we use a pack of Archers to clear these two trash buildings, and then we are going to work our way in with a Dragon and a Larry Barrel. This is a strategy that I've been using ever since the Larry Barrel buff where they've gotten so much HP. The Larry Barrel goes ahead, tanks, the dragon locks on the Tesla, and those defenses next to the Tesla, while well, they're next to that Tesla no more. It all gets burned down. Then the dragon turns around, goes after the multi-cannon, and grabs that <laughs> rapid rocket as well, then sets its sight to the giant cannon, one-shots that too, and because the defenses are under-leveled, that dragon still survives and goes ahead towards the giant Giants, takes out the post, that cannon, and gets some serious damage on those defensive super giants as well. Man, under the rage spell, the super dragon melts through defenses and parts of the base so fast. When buildings are touching each other, that splash breath slashes them all at once. And now we're going to fast forward through the next phase as we clear through this section of the base with our archers because we are going to try to push into the district hall for a wizard bomb now. So we are coming in with an absolute circus this time around. And we are also going to wait for the giant to return to its post because we don't have the resources for this attack to finish those things off here. And so once the path is cleared, we're going to drop our ram low to open up this wall. We want to avoid this giant on the left side as much as we can. So we drop our rams at a low angle. And now the rams are going up ahead. And as they're distracting all the defenses, then we'll drop in our three wizards on top of the district hall. And I do not know what's going on today, but all my wizards are walking into rock artillery shells and mega hin tesla shots, but they're still getting the job done. So they are just doing a little bit of Trolling. They're still doing what I want them to, but they are trying to get as red as possible. So I have a heart attack before age 30, but they grab the district hall as well and get some damage on that giant. Then I'll drop in a pack of archers to finish that air defense over there. I dropped the zap on the right side of the base. You can honestly drop the zap anywhere you want if you face this base. I just drop it there because I didn't really see a good place for it. And at this point, we're going to come in with a similar plan to that previous hit 
where we're coming in with a Pekka to sweep the backside uh, air defenses over here. There's so many air bombs, so many rapid rockets, and there's just a spear thrower and some giants covering there. And that is not going to be, uh, going to be enough to kill my Pekka. And so now we are going to push through this section of the base, try to finish off as many air defenses as we can with our archers, as well as this cannon and this spear thrower to protect my, can uh, my P.E.K.K.A. even further. And at this point, we will just put this at times 4 speed as we push in with the archers, and we will drop a ram to tank the spear thrower, and then the P.E.K.K.A. will take out the spear thrower, take out the giants. That ram also opens up the wall ahead, so my P.E.K.K.A. won't have to beat through it. And we're going to finish off those last couple of defenses with the rocket balloons on the air defense and a pack of minions down south to make sure we don't time fail. But this attack looks overly complicated and it probably is against this face specifically, but I have tested this strategy and this will work against a completely max barbarian camp. So if you're struggling against this base and you are at basically 3000 upgrades, this will still work even there. And finally, I'm going to include a bonus replay to this video. There's no wizards here, but this attack was an absolute circus as well. We're going to start off with a ram up the left side of the base to tank for a P.E.K.K.A. to go in and take out this entire left section. Up the right section, we'll drop in rams, barbarians, and some hogs to clear all those so we can funnel both sides of the flanks. And then up the gut, across the river, and over the mountains, we'll drop in a rage spell two larry barrels and two dragons and those dragons will burn that entire section of the base in no time flat and there isn't even any splash defenses left that can harm the larrys so they'll survive a little bit longer until they reach one single trap and just all get blown up as usual and we even have a graveyard spell for the backside uh rocket artillery that's not being covered by any splash defenses so we waited for some of our air troops to die so we can get some ground skeletons off the pekka in that last barbarian but at this point, our P.E.K.K.A. is going in with the help of some more Larrys, and she's going to get her death damage on this low-level Tesla. Blow that thing up, and we have taken out a huge chunk of this base already, to where we are going to try to finish it up with some Hog Raiders. Up the top section of the base, we'll drop in one more Larry Barrel to go in for this Minion Hive, a Rocket Balloon to take out the Wizard Tower and this Cannon, and we'll go in with our Hogs up the uh, bottom side of the base, sort of in a wave and just have those hog riders move and take out as much as they can. We have two heals for them, and the graveyard spawning skeletons is going to take out that rock artillery back there. And then we'll sneak in a pack of minions up the top side to take out that bomb tower so our hogs don't have to deal with that bomb tower on the back side. And then we'll stun the minion hive with that hog glider. One more heal in towards the giant cannon and bomb tower, and then our last hog glider is gonna go in and stun that last giant cannon. And we are collapsing on the final defenses in the base now. I have not shown Skeleton Park on this channel yet before because most of the bases I run up against are really low level or just are running the default layout so this base is actually really fun to attack at a higher level so I'm hoping in the coming weeks when people start upgrading this base more it's going to be more fun to attack and I will definitely try to feature this base more but this will be the start and this was an absolute circus. So I hope you all enjoyed today's replays. These were super fun to plan out and execute, but also make sure you join our Discord if you haven't already. All the top clans are there, so if you want to learn how to get better at Clan Capital, that is the place to go. But like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and take care.